Okay, I see we are on the hour, so I will um, start. Uh, some of you will probably spot, I'm not Joan. Um, I'm uh, Abby, for those of you, um, for the new people who may not be aware. Um, normally Joan does the functional group updates. She will be on the call, but um, as, uh, as it says in the handbook, and the team leads don't always have to do the update. So I've sort of stepped forward um, to do this one. So I will just go ahead and share my screen. So I hope everyone can see this. Um, so I'll click on present. If not, um, if someone can let me know, I won't see the chat. Um, but please go ahead and ask any questions that you have. Um, we'll make sure there's plenty of time at the end um, for your questions. So let's get started. So um, we in the people ops team, um, there's myself, there's Joan, um, there's Brittany and Sasha. Um, together, we're all here um, to help support you and GitLab and make everything um, be as successful as possible. So one of our first achievements um, is that we have hired Chloe Whitestone as um, People Ops Administrator. Um, Chloe will be, um, she joined last week and I won't uh, make her introduce herself again, but she will be supporting the hiring team by um, looking after Workable and also doing, um, working on the contracts and onboarding. So we're really pleased um, that she's joined us. So, and. Uh, sure she's going to do a great job um, the second thing as um, I mentioned on the team call on Monday is that we have new Grovo content um, I've sent out courses to managers and individual contributors today um, if you haven't received an invitation yet please let me know um, everyone should have received something um, by now I just want to make a special thanks to Marin, Chet, Jacob and Erica for being um, my guinea pigs. Um, they took some of the courses um, just and gave me some initial feedback, which I have used um, and made some slight adjustments before um, everything was assigned. We um, are hoping that this will be a much, much um, smoother learning experience from the initial um, set of courses that were um, assigned back in December of last year. We've moved the uh, quizzes to the end of the chapters, so you just sit back um, and learn, watch the videos, and then right at the end um, there'll be some quizzes, and they're there to reinforce what you've just heard. Um, apply um, the knowledge um, so they do serve a purpose but of course um, any feedback on those and the rest of the content um, is very welcome. The courses um, have been designed and to take no more um, than one hour we hope but obviously um, that depends on how quickly um, you're able to get through them and also complete the quizzes. Uh, Q2 is really the quarter um, that we want you to spend some time um, and take the courses, um, really get to grips with the platform, um, get a feel for um, you know, how everything flows. As I also mentioned, there is a new learning and development page um, which has further information um, about Grovo. It's not just going to be for Grovo, there will be other things um, that will put up there once um, we have more information um, and uh, more resources for you. Um, Grovo previously sat on the leadership page and currently on the leadership page there are links to um, articles and other reference materials. I will be moving those over um, in the next uh, iteration. Um, please do let us know if you have any problems logging into Grovo, if you've not received um, an invitation yet. Um, I'll just mention there is a merge request um, there already for um, course descriptions and updates to the frequently asked questions section on the uh, learning and development page. Um, again, uh, we want to make sure that we're giving you um, useful tools and resources to help um, you know, with your jobs and help with um, furthering your 
professional development um, while you're at GitLab. So please do um, let us know um, your, your feedback, anything that you've picked up on that you think um, doesn't make sense or isn't quite right, anything that you think we need to be aware of, we'd really appreciate it. And there's a link there um, to the issue for uh, feedback on Grovo. Um, we've also published uh, some tips on ergonomic working. Thanks um, to everyone who participated um, in the issue and in the chat on Slack. Um, Brittany uh, put together the uh, merge request there and it has already been merged. So information is there, please go take a look at that. Um, also, we've made um, an update to the compensation approval process. Again, there's a merge request there for you to go and take a look at. Um, we want people to use um, Bamboo HR for submitting uh, title and compensation changes. Um, so we'd really appreciate it if you can just take a look at that um, and start uh, using that process, that would be great. And moving on to our plans, um, certainly one of them is to increase awareness and engagement in Grovo. We did uh, the initial rollout back in December and um, since then we have kind of been a bit quiet. So I'll be popping up a lot more um, with uh, reminding people on the team call, um, getting actively um, seeking feedback um, and that kind of stuff. We'll also be, um, Sasha is working on delivering some unconscious bias training and the issues there, if you want to go and take a look at that. We've also looked at streaming the vacancy requisition process. We're hoping to really kind of speed things up there um, and we're still uh, working on that. Also, as some of you have probably seen, we are going to be looking to improve the global compensation calculator um, to use um, market-based benchmark data and that's a big one for us um, and then the last two things i think um as joan um announced on the team call um as well the 2000 the 2017 performance uh, merit increase plan and the 2016 performance review process um i won't talk about those too much because i think we'll, i'm sure there's going to be questions um about those two things but they um they're in the handbook um, and there's some FAQs there as well, which hopefully um, will answer some of your questions. So moving on to um, our challenges, um, OKRs. Thanks very much, um, Sean M for raising the uh, issue there. We do want your feedback um, on the Q1 OKRs. Um, we're looking to set uh, O2 objectives, um, sorry, O2, Q2 OKRs. Um, we want, we acknowledge the fact that we need to improve the communication with those, um, give you better support um, and encourage uh, ongoing check-ins and address changing priorities, give you um, more additional training on these um, and also um, establish goals uh, in, in the first uh, 15 days. So I will now open it up to any questions, which myself, Joan and Brittany will be glad to answer for you. No questions, come on. Is there nobody in here? Awesome job, Abby. You, you answered all the questions up front. Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Great job. Well, if there's no questions, oh, here comes somebody. Oh, thanks. All right. If there's no <laughs> questions, then we'll wrap it up for today. Oh, Jim. Sasha, are you on here? Yeah, I am. So how are we doing with, with uh, hiring a replacement recruiter? We are far along in the process with a recruiter in the Bay Area, and we're really hopeful that uh, she will hopefully join our team. But yeah, woohoo, so we're excited. Good deal, yeah, fingers crossed.
Absolutely, coming down that pike. Anybody else, last chance. Have a wonderful Wednesday.